Good morning everyone. It is Vlogmas Day 23, which is Christmas Eve Eve, and I can't get over that. Mostly because I haven't finished doing any of my Christmas stuff. I have to wrap everything. Actually, what I have to do first is go to work. Then after work, I have electrolysis, and then I can come home and wrap. I'm sure I'll be in the mood for it. The good news is I don't have much visible facial hair even after three days of growth. Like I have some dark spots here. It's mostly on my neck at this point. So I'm really happy with my progress considering this will be my ninth session after six sessions of laser as well. I have some up here that I'm going to have to deal with and I'm really not looking forward to that. The upper lip is so awful. It's like, hey, let's take this thing that's extra sensitive so that you'll enjoy the act of kissing and then rip hairs out of it one at a time. But it's still a hell of a lot better than it used to be. Like, I couldn't go three days before and cope. Like, I couldn't be out in public like that. So I'm trying to think of it more in terms of, like, progress rather than like, oh my god, I still have so much more to go. I'm getting there. I kind of want to do a five-day comparison, like what I had on my Instagram, where I posted it before I started electrolysis, and I kind of want to do, like, an update of, like, yeah, this is what five days looks like now. See, it's working, people, but I can't force myself to do five days of growth again yet. I just, I just can't, especially when my electrologist doesn't need that. I'm like, nah, I want to be able to go outside. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll try it. It'll really help me see the contrast. And I feel like I have a lot of trans followers who would really like to see that it is possible to overcome this because it does feel insurmountable at first. Anyway, it's time for me to get up, get out, and go have fun at work. At least it's casual dress today, which basically means jeans. And I'm always like, Ugh, I spent so much of my life wasting time in pants. I can wear whatever the hell I want. I just, well, not whatever the hell I want, but I can wear basically anything I want. I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably just go simple. Besides, I look good in jeans these days. You should wear your Christmas shirts. I should wear my Christmas shirts. I don't know. I'll think about it. Either way, time to get up. <sighs> I have taken a short stop on my way to my electrologist to tell you all how I'm doing. It's not great. <laughs> I am alone tonight, flying solo, and I'm really scared that I'm going to have a massive meltdown or panic attack of some variety or another, like I did last time. But after talking it over with my therapist on Saturday, she wanted me to remind myself that this is a thing I get to do and that it's going well and it is working and that it is worthwhile and that I enjoy my results. I may not enjoy the process so much, but it is necessary. <sighs> I'm pretty tense. And I know that my being tense about it is not going to make this easier. I need to just relax because I've found that when I'm doing this, if I like tense up my face muscles, it's going to make it hurt so much more because it is a stabbing, plucking kind of thing. And if my muscles are tense, it's kind of like holding on to it. I don't know if that's how it works. All I know is that my face is a lot less sore when I actually try to relax through the process. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try to just like take my time, take it easy. I can take breaks during the actual electrolysis if I need to. And that's kind of what I should have done last time because I should have stopped when I realized I needed Amanda's hand and I didn't. And I just tried to push through. The other thing I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to set alerts that pop up on my watch every 10 minutes so that I can like count off the time. The other thing I'm about to do is I'm about to take some Tylenol so that I'm not swollen and puffy and I get some pain killing out of this. I'm hoping that it'll help as well. I've done this every time. It's been worth it every single time. At a certain point, I just need to accept that this process is awful. Like, it is actually torture if it weren't me choosing to do it. And I mean, choice is kind of the weirdest term to apply for this because it's like, I need to do this for the sake of my mental health and my, like, emotional well-being, but I feel like choice is a weird term to apply to this because I'm like, if I could choose to just not have facial hair, I would do that. <laughs> but I guess I've chosen to go this route, namely the one of removing my hair permanently rather than continuously shaving for the rest of my life. And the results that I've had so far are really impressive. Like, more often than not, I can leave my house on two or three days of not shaving and not get misgendered based on my facial hair or anything, which is magical. Like, I can't even explain to you how important that is to me. Like, I sort of just accepted for years that this was the situation and I could do nothing about it. And 
that's not true, I can, and I am, and I get to do that, and I can afford to do that, and I have the agency to do that in my life. And I need to be grateful for that, rather than mad about, like, the process being painful, or expensive, or time-consuming, or hard for me to handle. It is worth it. I am making the right decision. I wouldn't keep going back if it wasn't benefiting me. <sighs> I'm trying. It's hard. This is really hard. You know, especially the part where I have to, like, allow myself to be hurt for my own good. That's really hard for me. And yes, of course, Ribbit is with me. Of course he is. He's here to help. One of the bad habits I have with him is that he's actually a pillow pet. He's one of those, well, he's not a proper pillow pet, but he's a, one of those pillow-ish pets that um, he has Velcro here. And I tend to like run my fingers along this to try to like have that ground me. And that's not good. It's like Velcro on your skin. It's, it's not good to do repetitively. Like you're gonna do skin damage and I need to like, be cognizant of that. All right, it is time for me to get going. So I'm gonna do that and I will see you on the other side of this. Wish me luck. Well, that was intense. Um, she decided to give me an extra half hour for free. Merry Christmas. It was really intense. We we got up in here. You know, it's, it's always a challenge up there. It's very sensitive. She said we're gonna start clearing down here real soon, neck and chin and everything. So I'm really excited for that. I feel okay. I'm a little twitchy and jumpy as you can tell, but certainly capable of driving. I'm like wired. I, I feel like that like manic tired almost. I'm really happy to have made as much progress as I did. This was officially my last session of the year, number nine. So I'm really, really happy with the progress that I made. I always love the like day after electrolysis because like that hair is gone and then I shave the rest and it's just the smoothest, cleanest feeling in the world. She did say that in some areas I am going to scab this time, which sucks, but it'll come off in a day or two, so Merry Christmas once again. I'm really excited to do right here. This is one of the problem spots that for some reason just did not respond to laser very well at all. It's kind of hit or miss with that. Yeah, so I'm okay, tired, worn out, but not sobbing and not having an anxiety attack, so you know, knock on wood, so I'm good. I'm really proud of myself. I'm definitely not gonna give my therapist the satisfaction of knowing that her strategies work until I see her next, so I'm not gonna text her. I'm just gonna tell her when I see her. Mercifully, she doesn't watch my channel, much less my vlogmas, so. <laughs> but no, honestly, it helped a lot. I really think that having the right mindset really helps a lot with this. I know that sounds kind of silly, but it does make a difference. Since I did so well, extra time even, I'm going to actually reward myself quite nicely by going to Sonic tonight. Uh, I rarely go there. It's so far away from home that I rarely get the opportunity to go there, which is a good thing, honestly, because I'm like, I don't really need like food that I know is bad for me to be more readily available. But I am actually gonna properly reward myself for this. I think I did really, really, really well tonight and I'm proud of that and I need to like actually let myself feel that. I don't go back to this electrologist again until January 8th, so my skin will mercifully have a break. It's It's been pretty rough hitting it, you know, eight or nine weeks in a row. I think there was like a two week period twice, but for the most part, I've been going here weekly and it's just been brutal on my skin. I actually have fairly nice skin, especially since estrogen, and this has just destroyed it. Anyway, I gotta drive. Got a lot of driving to do. And I'll go home. And I'll say hi to Amanda, give her a hug, and a kiss, and tell her I love her, and remind her that she's not the worst person in the world for not being there for her girlfriend. Like, honestly, she's so worried that I'm gonna, like, be so mad at her. I'm like, I've gone to this alone before. I can do stuff. I'm a strong, independent woman. Now cuddle me. <laughs> no, of course she feels guilty. And I'm like, you're sick. You're on meds. Like, you literally can't do normal stuff. Like, this is exceptional. You know? She really does have a hard time seeing me get hurt, which is sweet. I just, I'm like, hey, maybe don't torture yourself for my sake when I don't really need it. That's... stop. <laughs> you know? Like, if you can offer, great, it's appreciated, but if you can't, don't force it, come on. I'm rambling. I need to just get moving and get some food and go to bed. That's what I want. 
Actually, what I really want is the ability to apparate. No, actually, what I really want is to not have to do this at all and be have been born cis. That would be great. <sighs> all right, time to get moving. Hey, guys. Hey. Amanda had a hard day, yes. so we're gonna make this quick. We both had long, long days. Yours a lot worse, so we're gonna take care of you. You so honestly I think so? I'm surprised with what you went through. I figured you think okay. your life was worse. <laughs> I mean, it's unpleasant. Yeah, it's not good. No. Alright, so let's get these calendars out of the way. Thank you. Try and three. Because it's sad. <laughs> yeah, slim pickings. I can find nice and quick now when I actually right. hold it right side up. I got a drum. I got a present. I feel like that should have been the 24th. Yeah. It's probably going to be Santa. I always get mad at every present or uh, things like that weren't the ones on. Christmas Eve. I always wanted to say that for that. I can't believe tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. Alright, we really are going to cut this very short tonight. <laughs> um, we're just going to go. We're going to get editing, get our lives together, yeah. and uh, get to bed. Sleep sounds amazing. Good night, everybody.